Boating 52, how are you folks? Oh, I'm so happy today. Guess what? No more black fender from my accident. My new fender is on, and I am at my favorite dealership in the world, Capital Harley Davidson. And you know what? I think they saved me about a thousand bucks today, and they did it for nothing. Sometimes the best upgrade is the one you don't make. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi there, folks. I will tell you what. First of all, I am going to talk to you about maybe you don't have to make that bar modification. That's really what I'm here to talk about. But let me start off by saying those folks that follow my channel and know about the uh, accident in a gas station where somebody uh, backed into me at full speed with my wife on the back of the bike... Um, I want you to know my baby's back full and uh, so those of you who don't know and I'll leave a link at the end of this um, on Father's Day somebody backed into my wife and I um, and you would think oh it's a fender bender but they actually backed into us as we were getting off the bike at about 15 miles an hour so um, did some really uh, damage to not only just really the tire but uh um, the front fender was cupped into the tire. So uh, the dealership that I just came from has just been awesome to me in many ways and put a, uh, a uh, street glide fender, a black one, on my bike that I've been riding for two months with. So I had some character, but i got to say, I don't know how many people probably looked at my bike and said, I want to ask the guy because that looks like crap, but I don't want to. So Because not one person that didn't know about it came to me and go dude nice bike what's up with the fender not one not one i'm not that opposing of a guy right so so let me tell you the uh the good part what i'm excited about today i uh as i was over at the dealership uh well well first of all i've done plenty of videos on modifications to your motorcycle and i'll, I'll put a couple of those those links in and I talked about uh, when I got this motorcycle, this is a 2021 Road Glide Limited. And uh, very fortunate to have this motorcycle. And one of the things I talked about was I wasn't going to do a ton of mods to it uh, like I did my last bike, which was, a, which was an Ultra 2018 Ultra Limited that I traded in. By the way, that is no longer at the dealership. Big Mama is gone. So somebody bought her. Um, that is super cool because they got a fantastic bike. Um, but, so uh, while I was there, I was talking to the service department, which is just fantastic at Capital Harley, and I said, hey, look, you know, at some point, I've always been talking about since I've got this, I'm going to put some slip-ons on it, and, and I'm going to throw some bars on it, right? And that's, in my mind, going to be it, right? This is a 114. It's got enough power, all that fun stuff, blah, blah, blah. We could, again, talk about that until the end of the day, right? Um, but when I was there, I was just like, you know, there, and I was talking to the owner. She's like, how was your ride? Isn't that beautiful? She's like, hey, how was your, your last uh, uh, ride? We went down to, the, to uh, Kentucky in the Smokies, and I went and rode the triple nickel. So I've been on a couple trips. I said, hey, it's been great. She's like, anybody ask you about the black fender? I'm like, no, 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 no. And uh, as I was talking to her, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna at some point get some bars. And, and I know that you can uh, change the bars yourself. Um, uh, that's probably something I wouldn't tackle, even though I could. And, uh, I know a lot of you are going to say, hey, it's as uh, simple as this, this, and this. The 2021s are a little bit different. doesn't mean I couldn't do it, but I wasn't going to do that. And, you know, one of the things that she said to me was, hey, let's just roll them up, right? And I, and I know some folks will do that when they fit you for a bike. Um, some folks won't. So, like, I got it back there. Let me just roll them up. So um, the guy that worked on on my bike the whole time, at, you know, with the fender and checking it out when I was uh, when I was in that accident, uh, I'm not sure accident's the right thing to call that, but um, he, uh, he, you know, he, he's like, yeah, I, I think I can roll them. So... He actually rolled the stock bars about, he said about, um, what's that, about eight inches? I mean, an inch and a half or two inches. And uh, and if you if you look at the bike uh, from the side, you'll see that it is straight down. 
He's like, I wouldn't roll him any further. There's a pin in there. Um, and he's like, I wouldn't roll him any further. If these work for you, that's great. And uh, if not, you, you throw some new bars on it, right? He goes, we can do them in four hours. I don't care what anybody tells you, right? We can do them in four hours. I'm like, okay, cool. So now I'm on the bike, and I'm like, um, you know, I, I will tell you that my arms were definitely at an angle with the, uh, with the uh, before you ch- touched them. Now they're up here. I think they're pretty straight. It definitely feels more comfortable. Um, and uh, now, could I see them going up a little more? Because right now, he says, these are really set to where they're almost 12s. The stocks are pretty much 9, or 10, I'm sorry, and then these are 11 or 12. So um, you may want to go up, you know, and that way you put 14s on it. And, and uh, I'm like, awesome. So now I've been riding it. I don't know. I've been on the dealership 20, 30 miles, <laughs> and I love it, right? So I'm hoping that it stays that way. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to ride it, obviously, for the next week or two and just ride it like crazy and go, okay, hey, is the, uh, are the bars good enough like they are? So I'm not spending that money, number one. Bikes are expensive. And, uh, and two is I can put that money somewhere else potentially, right? No. That could be a savings account. That would probably be smart, right? Or into something else for the bike, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So, um I'm, I'm just uh, extremely pleased. So we're doing all the paperwork going out, and, and I had a, a straighten up from the, the accident and the, the insurance, and then so I had to pay a deductible that I'll get back, you know, one of these years. Um, and uh, he gives me the total. I'm like, all right, so um, what about the, because I don't know, they spent probably 45 minutes to an hour to, to I assume, to... Uh, to adjust the bars. He's like, no, we ain't charging you for that, Bob. Come on. I'm like, sweet. So uh, I'm just I'm just like, man, I so so far I really like how they are. I don't know if you can tell here. Are they the really cool 14-inch uh, uh, bars? No, but right now this does it for me, I think. So pretty excited about that. So here's the other thing. When you're sitting in a dealership and, you know, they're putting the fender on and they're doing the bars... You know how it goes, right? You kind of look around, you walk around, you sit for a while. You know, they got it all nice and comfortable. And and um, and for me, I always talk, go talk to the manager of the parts department. So um, I'm fortunate to know the owner there, owner there, which like a lot of folks are. So I talked to her a little bit. And, and uh, by the way, she did tell me that, you know, uh, they're a little slower right now. And, you know, normally the, uh, and this is probably public knowledge already, and I just didn't know it, you know, they'd be getting ready for the new bikes coming out. Um, but she said, like last year, it's going to be January again for Harley. Um, and that may be a long-term play. So this will be the second year in a row that they've done that. It sounds like it is. Uh, she was also awesome. I, a- I asked her if uh, if she would be up for an interview and a tour on, on video uh, to talk about the dealership. Uh, but for me to also ask some tough questions that I know people have with dealerships. <laughs> so, and she said, absolutely, anytime you want. So I will uh, work on that in the in the coming months. So that was kind of cool. But while I was there, I'm talking to, the, you know, the parts manager. And he's like, hey. So he, he says, uh, yep, so you're the black fender guy. I'm like, yep, Bob. He goes, hi, Bob. So we were just kind of chatting. And uh, I said, you know, I've been... I'm, they're flipping up my bars a little bit. And he's like, oh, maybe you won't have to get bars, right? And he goes, because they're kind of hard to get nowadays. And, and I said, yeah. And I said, I'm going to put, you know, at this point, he goes, you going to do anything else? And I said, yeah, I'm going to probably put some slip-ons on it. He's like, what are you looking at? And I'm like, well, you know, I had a Limited 400s on my uh, Ultra Limited. Uh, and, um, you know, they were, they were fine. You know, they were cool. But um, he goes, they, they were kind of passive, right? And I'm like, yeah, but that's okay. I mean, I really like them, uh, but I'm not. I'm obviously not set on why right? we'd be talking about something else. And he's like, he's like, have you ever considered Cobras? And I'm like, mm, yeah. He's like, well, I had these Cobra 909s. I think they are that I have on my bike, and um, I think they're called the Dual Slam. I'm not positive of that. Um, I'll put it right here. And 
And I'm like, yeah, those look okay. And um, he's like, um, uh, I'm like, you know, so hard with these pipes unless you hear them, hear them, right? He's like, well, let's go back in my bike. So they uh, walk me back through the service department and the parts department. And uh, he fires his bike up, and uh, man, they sound sweet. They're loud, but they're not, you know, obnoxious. They're not neighbor haters. Uh, but they're definitely not like the ones I had before. So I am pretty excited to get uh, those. It's going to take, uh, I guess there's like six of them in the country, at least right now at Harley dealerships is, is how I understood he was looking it up. So he says, hey, I'll have them here midweek. Pretty excited about uh, getting those. So, you know, I'm really feeling good about where my bike is at. Um, I, again, I've had it just about, I don't know, two and a half months now. Got 4,000 miles on it, so I've been able to take it on some trips, which is kind of cool. But uh, super excited about the bars. So, you know, that's, and you know, uh, you could do it. I'm thought about eventually maybe doing a stage one on this, but I'm like, I really don't need to do that. And, you know, maybe sometimes, and it's the same thing with adjusting the bars, is maybe the best modifications is not to do any. Um, and I like to ask you guys, have you ever... Um, you know, not done a modification that you were thinking about, maybe adjusted something or just happy with what you have and don't feel like you want to do that. I know there's a lot of guys that love, you know, stock bikes. I have a 2000 Road King Classic, and other than a Stage 1 that was put on it where um, when I, from a guy I bought it from, I really am not planning on doing anything to that bike, right, Get, keeping it stock. But sure, I'd love to hear your feedback. And, and for those of you that are, at least I can talk for a Road Glide, if you're thinking about the uh, bars that come stock, and they are a little low, so I did feel a little bit of the shoulder. I am 6'3", and uh, a little pain in the shoulder when I was riding on the long trip. Not a lot, but it may be worth it, even if they charge you an hour at the dealership, to roll these things up before you spend four or 500 bucks on bars, and then maybe the same if you're not going to install them yourself. That is it, folks. Be safe out there. Thanks for checking in. I definitely appreciate all of you. And, uh, and by the way, I always leave links in the description of anything I use, whether it's software program, whether it's the gear I use, whether it's um, the mares or anything that I've had on my bikes uh, that you may see in a video. You can go uh, check those out and click on a link there, and it'll take you right to it. Um, if you please. It is an Amazon link, so I do get a really small commission for that. I want to be straight about that, but it does not impact what you would pay for it. So, um, uh, But it's I do it for the purpose of it always being there, uh, just a link, because I get tons of questions on where did you get this or where can I get that. So that's why I started, started initially. So from the beautiful countryside in Michigan, be safe out there, folks. Hey, be vigilant. Check on a friend and let's take care of each other. Bye-bye.